uh, really once in a lifetime that someone packs up a T-Rex and sends it to your front door. In a basement at the Museum of the Rockies, a delicate packing job is underway. These wooden crates contain the bones of the Wankel T-Rex, now bound for the National Museum of Natural History in Washington. And this is one of the crates here, and you can see how we're packing it. It's packed very, very carefully. This is actually the pubis, this large bone here. It's part of the pelvis of the T-Rex. And in these cradles that you see here, there are some of the foot bones from the animal. And this is a very good way of um, packing uh, fossil bones because uh, as you cradle them and have a lid on them, they can't move at all. For 66 million years, the bones lay in the ground until a rancher, Kathy Wankel, discovered them in Montana in 1988. And we could tell, as, as especially when we got it fully exposed, I mean, it's one of the most complete Tyrannosaurus rex skeletons ever found. But although the bones have survived the movements of time and geology, no chances are being taken with their next journey. It's taken the best part of a week to get to this stage. Hundreds of T-Rex bones, some of them just tiny fragments, all individually wrapped and ready for shipping. The question now is how to get them to Washington. Tracking devices are placed inside the crates, which are then sealed. The crates are loaded onto a truck kept constantly at room temperature. Satellites monitor the truck's location. Many dinosaur bones have left Montana, but few have been packed with so much care. In the 1860s, the 1870s, uh, they relied almost entirely on the railroads. That was really the main way of travel. And so they would have whole railroad cars uh, they'd still put them in crates. They'd usually stuff the crates with grass, and they'd put the bones in. And then hopefully when it got to your museum, uh, things were okay. This bronze cast of the Wankel gives a good idea of how it will look when it's fully assembled. The first time in 66 million years, the nation's T-Rex will stand on its own two feet.